Stay fresh. Music. Firstly, I want to just say that I'm not actually a comedian. What it is, is I'm someone who just speaks their mind and people tend to call me feisty, people tend to call me inconsiderate, I sort of shut them out, innit? But that's just one of them things. But on the level, I'm also a dating coach. A bit sly, but I'm going to show you guys a little trick. Watch this one, watch this one. Ladies, ladies. Get your phones out, yeah? Where are my hoes at? Hold on, hold on. Where are my hoes at? Aye, then that one there to work. Okay then. Well, you see, that actually explains why I was late today. I had a feeling there weren't going to be any easy girls in here, so I sort of saw something on the way and I sort of got sidetracked. Now, I'm not saying I'm a gallus, you might take that the wrong way. You see, I'm actually a journalist. And what it was is a story came past, so I had to go investigate. And true, my phone's got the video, that's what happened. But you know, now that I'm back in here, I see the pretty faces, so everything's all sorted. I mean, honestly, honestly, there's some nice faces up in there, isn't it, guys? In my fact, I, I got to check, have you got a Catholic service in here today, or Pentecostal service? Let me see. Where are the nice girls at? Make some noise. <laughs> Catholic, Catholic, Catholic service up in here. Now, honestly, I need to ask, I need to ask, though, ladies, to make some noise. But don't take that the wrong way. It might sound a bit wrong. This guy is asking nice ladies to make noise. You might be thinking, yo, this man ain't holding it down in the bedroom. Asking a girl to make some noise. No, 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 it's not like, it's not like that. Why I'm saying that is because you hear that a lot. Hey, nice girls, make some noise. But you know what? How come they never go all the way? And when I say all the way, how come they never go to the other side? If you're gonna say nice girls, make some noise, what about the butters things? <laughs> hey, where my, where my butters girls at? Make some noise. Okay, we're not so honest there now, are we? Are we? But you know what? You know what? We gotta be, we gotta be honest with each other still. And even more, it's not even about no butters things because tell you, earlier this year I must have came out. And guys, I know some of you being inside, and you know how it is when you're inside. When you're inside, you will make pornography out of watching the animals playing with each other. You know how hard it is inside. I mean, I must have seen this blind when I was coming, and I was thinking, boy, inside I could have made some good bashment. The brother asked if we like bashment. Yeah, inside we love bashment. It's a different type, though, not the music one. But on the level, you know, you know what's hard about being inside. You see, when you come in, when when you go inside, before that, you know. Yo, you're the bad boy and everything, you hold it down. Yeah, man's got his big strap, man squeezes triggers. Man deals with his thing with a girl. You see when you come outside, things change up. Whereas in the past you could have hold it down for, you know, a good while with a lady. When you come outside, you turn to Machine Gun Joe. Girl comes, does a little butterfly in your piece. All of a sudden it's like, oh, quick time. But I'm telling you, I'm telling you. It's hard. I've got, I've got to be honest, guys. We can't find, we can't find. It's not always the Iron Man thing when you, when you come out. So I just got to be honest with you up in here. That's what it is, we've got to be real with each other. And I mean, why, why I say that is because there's a lot of fake guys out there, we all know that. There's a lot of jokes, there's a lot of lies, there's a lot of fronts, there's a lot of guys on the hype, but gladly no one in here is on the hype, are they? No one, everyone here is peaceful, come on, we all peaceful up in there? Yeah. Thank you, we all peaceful, no one here is on some noise, no one's on that hype thing. So what, is it all peace up in there? Yeah. Aye, that's good, isn't it? Because if it weren't peace, I would have moved to you, innit? I would have moved to you, innit? I would have come for you, man! I'm going to back up! I'm back! 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 i the guy was meant to have quit all eight years ago. What's he still doing? Guy put out a blueprint, then guy put out the black album. This one is gonna keep going to his 90. Then what is he gonna drop? The grey album? It's like, brother, give it up! But it's still going. But you know what? We gotta call it, you gotta call it to a close sometimes. Such as sometimes your career just dies, sometimes you just pass away, like the brother was saying this past passed away. Even on my way here, I was coming from a funeral. You know they say funerals, they bring people together. I think it's different. I think funerals actually bring people back from the grave. I'll be seeing people in funerals I ain't ever seen before. I thought you were dead. They're like, oh, you know, you remember me? It's like, I ain't ever seen you. And you know, you know the worst things when you get together at funerals and all of that? You always see some clowns. There's the ones you never see and then there's the ones you see every month. Who ask, hey, what are you doing with yourself? 
That's that's three months ago. Two months ago. Hey, what are you doing with yourself? Listen, oh, what are you doing? The same thing, you fool. Ain't you listening? After all, I start lying to these people, saying, yeah, I own a country. Yeah, why build house? You know, they don't even care. You just start dropping anything. You know the biggest clowns that you see at these family get-togethers? You know people say start saying some foolishness. What they say, what they say? Oh, don't you look like your mum? You know when you hear that, don't take that as a compliment. When you hear that, you better start thinking, yo, who's my mum you're sleeping with? Yo! Now you gotta be asking the questions. Who am I meant to look like? Him? 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 What are you trying to say, brother? But honestly, honestly, that's that's what it is, that's what it is. We got we just gotta be real, but getting away from the whole funeral scene, getting away from all of that. Let's talk about life. Let's talk about getting jiggy with it, you know? Let's talk about some loving and everything. I mean, I was down with my girl and things were getting a bit, you know, dry. So I had to do a little gully creeper, a little snake outside, get a little extras. Because things were hard. Guys, you all know about Facebook, innit? Facebook's the thing when you want to try and link girls on the sly. You know, type in a little button and say, yeah, who's on this, who's on this. But you know what I learned? There's a reason why it's called Facebook and not body book. But some people be lying up on that thing. Some people be lying up on that thing. I mean, my you know, partner there, he said that he likes head. And you know, girls, girls know guys like head. But the thing is, girls get twisted when they hear that. So all they post on Facebook is the head. It's like, fool, it's not little. But you know what? You know what? I'm also hooked up with one thing. You know, in her bars and everything. It was like, yeah, she dropped it. She dropped it on her Facebook page. I went to the yard. I was thinking, yeah, man's in there. I know you've been doing that as well, brother. I know you've got that innocent. Hey, I told you. I told you. Watch these brothers. Watch these brothers. But yeah, I must have went to the yard and everything, creeping up on the door. Them times in my mind, yeah, I'm playing some RDX. I'm thinking, oh, yeah, dagger it time. I must have knocked on the door. She must have opened it. Next thing you know, I went from RDX to Daniel Benefield. So I'm like, I gotta get through this. Oh yeah. I mean, I must have went down looking for my pieces. Like, oh, come on, dude, hang in there. Hey, yo, yo. Well, my piece jumped to the back. He won't run it. I was like, yo, hey, hey, what are you doing? Hey, hey Stinks, what are you doing, Stinks? Come on, man. Get through this. In the end, you had to just leave the youth alone, didn't it? We was like a dog chasing a cat. This ain't constructive. I had to go into the yard, and you know, this is when stuff got a bit hysterical. First, I see a construction hat. I've seen a yellow construction hat in the girl's yard. I'm thinking, she already looking masculine. What's going on here? Next thing, I'm seeing a drill and all of that. I'm thinking, what the? So, you know, I decided to start making some jokes. I said, what are you saying? You're in construction. She's like, yeah. Me and my big mouth. You know, I must have said, I must have said construction. What do you do? What do you do in construction? Wax the floor with your bleach. Honestly, what do you do in construction? Hammer the house in with your fake nails. What do you do? She was getting really, really offended. And then after I said, what do you do? Paint the walls with your eyelashes. That was it. She was saying, that's it. Get out, get out, get out. Kick me out so quick. You think she was doing football or something like that. But it was good, it was good. It was good that like I got kicked out because, believe me, as guys, you could go into denial sometimes and your brothers need to pull you out. Your brothers need to pull you out. Because you could lie to yourself. Guys, you know it. You know what? You've been bopping with a thing. And then you see your friend, and then she crosses the street, you go that way, and it's like, yo, meet me at the yard. Guys, we know all about that, we know all about that, that's why denial is something you've got to get over. I mean, you can't be walking the streets with certain things, and then you're parting from them, like say, BNT got parted, and then afterwards you're linking them afterwards. you got to be honest. That's why I'm saying, from now on, we got to be honest with ourselves and say there's no such thing as any ugly woman. Yeah, that's the new thing we got to say to each other. There's no such thing as ugly woman. The only thing there is out there is sober men. So drink up, people. Drink up. <laughs> All right, grandmas and goss, I'm out of here. And I just want to say, if anyone's been offended by anything I said, nothing personal, take it collectively. I'm out. <laughs>